Hello friends, welcome back to the channel for another video. Today's video is about Apache Kafka, but not in the cloud. I would like to do a practical breakdown of Kafka in the following videos. So let's start with the basics. Let's download and set up Apache Kafka locally on Windows. Then we are going to create a topic, a producer and a consumer to see how Kafka works. Nothing fancy. First, we are going to run the bat files and then we are going to execute the same commands in Python. So let's get started. This is the official website for Apache Kafka. So go on this URL here and download uh, under binary downloads. Click on that, the TGZ, download this. Unzip the file twice and you will notice a folder like this, Kafka underscore and then the version. So copy that folder and paste it wherever you want. I paste it on uh, the C drive. And here, if you click on this folder, you will see the bin folder. And inside the Windows folder, you will see all the bat files that we are going to use. We, uh, we can also, we have also the config folder with all the property files, the libraries, the licenses, etc., etc. The next thing we have to do is to create one new folder called Kafka and let's inside that folder create two new subfolders one called zookeeper zookeeper sorry zookeeper and the other one called logs so let's go back into our uh, Kafka folder that we downloaded and inside the config file then we have all the property files here open the server file in a notepad here is our server.properties file we have the broker id which is zero so we will have one broker in this example on comment this line here which is for the listeners plain text slash slash 992 we have you know all those properties the number of threads that the server uses for receiving requests for processing requests the send buffer the receive buffer the maximum size of the request etc etc and here what we have to change is actually point to our c folder Kafka folder and more accurately to the logs folder and here this is where we are going to store the log files of the kafka server the number of partitions would be one we leave everything as is for the time being for in the server properties so save that and let's open the zookeeper properties open the folder the kafka folder under config then open the zookeeper properties here we have the zookeeper properties so let's change the directory to c slash kafka slash zookeeper and set the maximum client connections to one save that the next thing we have to do is to run the bat files in order to start the zookeeper then the kafka server then create a topic create a producer create a consumer and see how the data goes you know uh, how the producer pushes the data and how the consumer reads the data let me paste the commands that we need in order to start zookeeper and everything can be found inside the bin folder and inside slash windows and all the bat files here you can find all the bat files that we would we need in order to run our example our demo the first thing we need to do is start zookeeper and we can use the zookeeper dash server dash start dot bat and point to the zookeeper properties and that would start zookeeper then we have to start the kafka server that's why we changed the server uh, property file and then we need to create the topic so we are going to use kafka uh topics.bat to does create and bootstrap server localhost 
992 replication factor one for this demo we don't uh, we are not going into detail about those uh, settings here partitions only one partition we are going to use for this topic let's call this topic apostolos and then we use and then we can list all the topics that we created and that would give us our apostolos topic and then we can create the producer uh, that uh, is going to push data into the apostolos topic and then we can start reading from this topic using our consumer starting our, our consumer specifying the topic of the bootstrap server of course and from beginning which is from the first from the very beginning we are going to read all the data let's open a few command lines so type cmd so here paste the first command i'm going to provide the commands in the description so don't worry about that that starts zookeeper next open a second cmd uh, uh, and second command line in the second cmd uh, paste the command that we have in order to start the kafka server so that would be start Okay, next, next let's create a topic. So paste the third command. And as you can see, we are going to create a topic uh, with uh, the title Apostolos with one partition and one replication factor. Paste and run this command. So as you can see, we created this topic. The next command is actually to uh, give us a list of all the topics. For now, we should have only one. Yeah, as you can see, we have only one topic. Let's start our producer. So paste the next command, and that would be the producer.bat, and that is going to push data into the topic apostolo. So enter. And as you can see now, we have the arrow. That means we can start typing. And then test, and then one two three etc etc and now let's open a new command line again for our uh, consumer our consumer will be like that so it's going to read from the topic apostolos and it's going to read everything from the beginning click enter let's wait yeah as you can see hello test and one two three so we read everything from the beginning that the producer sent us so let me go back to the producer and type another method test one two three now what is going to happen let's stop the consumer but uh let's see what is going to happen if we remove from beginning. So the default behavior is we start reading from the producer, from the Kafka topic, so not from the producer, from the Kafka topic, only from this point onwards, if we don't provide this option to read from the beginning. So let me, uh, let me hit enter. As you can see, we don't read anything from that topic because the producer has not sent new data but let me send new data from the producer's side so let me type test one two three four five and we should see the same yeah here right so we only read the data from this point onwards that we uh, started the consumer let me stop the consumer and actually delete that topic and let's see this this is the command that you does does delete does does topic and the topic name that uh, and that would delete the topic the specific topic that you want to delete so type enter and this is going to delete the topic what we are going to do now is do exactly the same thing in python it's very simple don't worry this is a simple kafka producer using python and using the kafka python library so before you start writing code pip install kafka does python
I have already done it, but you have to use this library in order to execute the above code. So, as you can see, we import from Kafka admin, we import the Kafka admin client and new topic. Let's specify a topic name that would be test, for example. We are going to use only one partition again, like that, uh, like that, what we did before. Replication factor would be one again. And here we have to instantiate in Kafka admin client using this command here, specifying the bootstrap server. Then we can use admin client to list all the topics available and print them. So using an if statement, we check if this topic here, test uh, topic name, test for example, uh, is not here. So if we have already uh, created a topic like that with that same topic, we don't do anything. But uh, if this is a new topic, then we create a new topic here. We pass the name of the topic as a parameter, the number of partitions and the replication factor. And then we type admin.create topics, new topics, and the topic here inside the list. The reason is if you click on create topics and you see the code here in the params, it says new topics is a list of new topic objects. So it's a list, we have to pass a list. Here it's only one topic, but imagine if you have multiple topics, right? And then using Kafka producer, we are going to specify the bootstrap server and serialize the data using the typical JSON dumps for uh, the Lambda function, anonymous function, and serialize and code the data. And therefore, inside the for loop, what we do is here, we provide a random name, and then we also assign a, a number next to the name, and we send that data into uh, this specific topic. Zookeeper is up and running, Kafka cluster is up and running, so let's run the script and type some data. So, list topics, there, there are no topics available right now. Remember, we deleted uh, the, the topic before. And let's provide the name, so let's say Mark or Apostolos and then John, okay. Now here, as you can see, I have the consumer as well. As it's very simple. The consumer is just a few lines of code. Of course, it's a very basic consumer. We, have, we provide the topic name, the bootstrap servers, exactly the same thing as in the producer, right? The localhost 992 and then here we pass those parameters, the auto offset reset, that would be earliest, which is the same command that we provided in the bat file that was dash dash from beginning. It's the same thing. So we are going to start re reading from the earliest offset and we deserialize the, um, the bytes right here. And for methods in the consumer, we start reading the messages. So if uh, we run this script in the CMD terminal, so let's run the Python script. Only for Kafka consumer simple. And we should see, yeah, as you can see, this is the data that we passed before from the producer to the topic, and now we are reading the data from the topic. Let me send uh, more data from the producer. Test, right? And see what we get. As you see, we read new data, uh, la la la, okay. It's very, very simple. As you can see, it's very, very easy to create a producer and a consumer in Python using the Kafka Python library. It's very, fairly simple. Everything is, uh, there is huge documentation about it. It's very easy to find the necessary code on the web. I'm going to paste this code on the GitHub, but uh, you can find everything online. Don't worry about this. It's uh, a fairly popular topic, right? 
This course a quick video on how to download and install Kafka on your local environment on Windows and how to run the BAT commands to create a producer and then consumer. Similarly, using Python script to do exactly the same thing. In the next videos, we are going to see more details about Apache Kafka, you know, with uh, about replication factor and partitions and multiple producers and multiple brokers, etc., etc. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.